Hello and welcome to Woods and Water Outdoors. I'm Patrick Corcoran. Uh, today we're going to tie for you another one of our specialty jigs. We're going to do the Mayfly. Uh, if you follow us on Instagram, um, we did quite well yesterday evening with this jig and uh, the crappie were pulling in at the bottom of their throat so, uh, so much so that we had quite a few deep gill uh, hook sets. So um, we were really on a catch and release mission, but there were a few that had to come to the house. So, um, if you've looked at the Mayfly plastic that is out there, uh, it's a monkey milk, um, pour that has some red glitter in it and it creates this, uh, that little beige reddish tone in the body, um, at least that's my opinion on how they're they're achieving that look. And as far as trying to create a chenille that uh, comes somewhere close to that, um, this is our Mayfly chenille. Uh, you know, it's pretty similar, but once again, um, kind of like the blue milk chenille, just doesn't quite get there. Uh, when it gets wet, it, it's a little too dark and just creates... Um, a different look than what you're probably looking for. And if you've noticed, you I haven't seen any advertisements for any other Mayfly chenilles or anything like that. Um, we will continue to work on a, a simpler uh, pattern for this as far as a chenille goes. Uh, maybe one day I'll come across the blend that we need to do to, to make that happen. But um, when you put red into things, it's kind of like putting black into things and, uh, it creates a darkness. So, um, talked long enough. We're going to get started here. It's, uh, a very similar jig. Like I said, the monkey milk, the, the tail is going to be the same as if you've watched our monkey milk video. Um, we're going to use pearl and a blue pearl and green pearl. Polar Flash, uh, Pearl Baitfish Emulator, and then our uh, um, Predator Wrap um, Clear Bard. So, uh, chenilles wise, uh, we'll get to that when we get there. So, the first thing that we're going to tie in is we're going to put in our Blue Pearl. And the thing that um, you got to be real careful with as you're stacking these materials and especially these little pearls um, sometimes you can get way too much material in the tail uh, but that may be also what you want so um, right now i'm tying these pretty thin um, wanting to keep them pretty low profile that just seems to be how the fish are behaving. Uh, now we're going to put in our barred predator wrap. And so that's going to represent the little black flakes in that tail, that monkey milk look. And then we're going to put in our pearl uh, bait fish emulator. And we're probably, I had never counted all the strands to all this, but you know, somewhere in the neighborhood, to, you know, just a little pinch. I mean, that's about all the material I'm trying to put in with each one of these. And this is uh, the green pearl. And so remember that monkey milk has a bluish, greenish, depending on which way it's laying. Uh, so now we have both of those things in and the uh, pearl bait fish emulator will help feed into that. And so. When this jig gets wet in the water, it's pretty good. So, okay, so for the body, we are going to, I'm gonna do this one here a little, a little more complicated to do the most complicated one for the video. Um, we'll share with you how to do simpler ones at the back end. So we got three chenilles here. We have our copper vein, we have a red crystal, and then we have a uh, 
a pearl cactus type chenille, a staz. And so we're going to twist our copper vein and our red crystal together using our little dubbing tool here. And with this one, it doesn't really matter how, how tight you get it. So as far as spreading out the um, colors. All right, so right there we have this copper vein red crystal mixed together. I want to tone down that red. I don't want the red to be too dominant. And that's the reason why I picked the copper vein to, to mix with it. Okay. And then we're going to take our stas and wrap over it. Okay. Now when this gets wet, we got several different things going for us here. Um, this gets wet, that red crystal is going to bleed through that pearl, just create that little hint of redness through this body. Um, you also, if you can see there, you got little rib cage patterns um, that are created through that tie. Uh, so this is the best thing that I've found for doing mayfly, just like the monkey milk. Um, we got to tone down those chenilles. And we won't create that, that bleed through effect. Uh, so it's, it's been working on this little, my little home lake. Uh, very, very good. Caught lots of fish with it yesterday. Um, and they were, they were eating it up. Um, and I actually used that one with a gold head. Um, I tied this one with a, a lime green with red flake in it. Uh, I'm going to try this on a different body of water and um, see if it how it functions there with a different color head. So uh, any sort of, I, I do tie this with our mayfly chenille and wrap over the top of it. With this one here, you're going to get a little more of a greenish tint in the body. Um, you know, there's all kinds of ways you can go with this. And so, but any, any, any chenille you have um, with a red crystal in it, as long as it's not a black or gray or, you know, something like that, uh, something, but something that's lighter that has a, an olive or, a, you know, a light green. Um, I think our apple cider is another one that we carry uh, that I've used to, to create this jig with. Um, you're going to be able to get that that impression and that look through this jig um, but that's our that's our mayfly um, that's how i've discovered uh, to make it and um, i've been able to it's caught fish so um, may not be perfect uh, when you're copying some of these plastics a couple of them are difficult to do uh, but i think we're about as tight to it as we can be and uh it's very functional. And so uh, we carry these products at our store, at our, at our uh, website, woodsandwateroutdoors.com. And uh, you know, we'd love to share them with you. And yeah, I hope you enjoy the video and this jig will put fish in the boat for you. Thanks for watching.